in the panel, everybody is speaking. Here there is order, here there is decorum. We listen to each other, we debate the issues, we argue, we differ where, where there's a need, but we do that with respect. We don't speak over each other, we don't shout at each other, we don't tackle the man, you tackle the issue, uh, tackle the fact. Argue with the fact, don't ridicule an individual. Those rules, we observe them when you come to the panel and even on the comment section. On the comment section again, guys, let's avoid using crying emojis. TikTok doesn't like those. And one important thing, this live takes place in a public platform and it's recorded automatically by TikTok. The recording is available to me at the end of the live and I reserve the right to repost in my other social media platforms. But like I usually say, you shouldn't worry much about that because it doesn't show people's faces, that recording. It doesn't show the comment section, only the voices. The recordings that you should worry about is those that uh, people uh, do with their cell phones. Because those recordings, they do show people's faces. They should do show the comment section. But like I usually, usually say, there's nothing to worry about in the things that we discuss. We are just simply exercising our freedom of expressions and freedom of speech. So let's be free, but let's be free with responsibility. If you are going to make allegations, please have the base for that uh, in case you are taken to task. Uh, otherwise, if you're not sure, uh, practice using the word allegation or alleged so that we are safe and this platform doesn't subject people to uh, unnecessary harm. And last but not least, this is not a group party, this is a discussion platform, uh, an education platform, uh, but because we've got the numbers, well, let's use the numbers to support each other, let's use the numbers to make friendships. We've got 387 people already, 389 uh, going to 400. Uh, let's make friends. You never know where these friendships will take you guys. You can find an employer here, you can find an employee, you can find a best friend, a female bestie, male bestie, you can find a wife, you can find a husband, you can find boyfriend, girlfriend, side chick. Uh, it's winter now, you can even find <laughs> a blanket with ice. So let's not be shy to make friends uh, with these 400 people and more other people who are still going to join. <laughs> so when you see anybody double tapping the screen, anyone who's sharing the life, yes, side cheek, you never know. Uh, the, in, in life, we need these things. Uh, if you see anybody sharing the life, uh, liking, double tapping, follow those people, but most importantly, gift us. If you see gift us, I think I've seen one, uh, who has started operating? Follow those people, Tesh and the Wubakwe. Now, thank you guys. Uh, if you see these gifters, follow them, they will follow you back. Thank you, Vuvu. Thank you, Tandos. They will follow you back after the life, guys. And gifters, when people follow you after the life, please follow them. Follow them back. Uh, hopefully. There won't be scammers in the midst, but you can see scammers from a distance. So when you see a scammer, simply block them. Uh, so yeah, let's let's start. Uh, let's start with our meeting uh, for tonight. I see people have started requesting. Thank you, Ndrovu John. Thank you, Tandos. Follow those gifters, guys. They've started operating. Uh, let me check them again. Vuvu, Tandos, Ndrovu Jones. Tesh, Chido, Tebo, thank you guys. Uh, let's make sure we become friends with those gifters because they will support you as well when you go live. Thank you, Mr. Zach. Uh, over and above them motivating us to be here, they will also support you when you go live. I'm not sure if my moderator, chief moderator is here, Brenda. I've not seen your name. If you are here, please uh, make me aware. Uh, I've not seen Brenda. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen Brenda. Brenda.
that if you are here please indicate uh, if not uh, I'll see who can help me to moderate uh, this discussion it's possible that she might have not seen this live because it was scheduled just today so yeah anyway let's continue uh, we'll see if I'm able to my other moderators are able to join uh, if you are my moderator, if you know my moderator and you are here, uh, please uh, show yourself. Uh, mother, invite me on your lives. I double tap screen. Uh, yes, mother, I will do. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much. I want to... I want to speak more about this issue on the videos. So what I'll do today, I'll give. Uh, and if there's anything that needs to be clarified, I'll clarify it if I've got that information. So for now, people an opportunity to come and share their view. Remember guys, as soon as I accept you, please mute your microphone. Uh, as soon as I accept you, please mute your microphone up until it's your time to speak. Up until I let you that it's your time to speak, uh, mute your microphone. Uh, let's see, I'm still accepting people. Uh, I'm hoping members of the SAPS will also join us. Uh, or members of the VIP protection unit, they join us and tell us why they sometimes have to behave like this. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see who's number one. Maestro, you can unmute your microphone and talk to us. Good afternoon, Brady, and how are you? I'm good, how are you, sir? I'm good, I'm good. But this is such a troubling incident, and we are very fortunate as a country or as citizens to have seen this barbaric act taking, uh, taking place. Uh, it means it's something that they are used to doing. They, they get away with it, and yes. now we are fortunate that somebody was recording it. I would say that's the fortunate part, that somebody was recording it, and irrespective of what those guys could have done on the road. Nobody gives them permission to beat up people. Uh, even though, um, I would say, uh, even if the deputy minister was inside that car, that still does not give them the right to mm -hmm. beat people and beat people up. Uh, with the depleted state resources that we have as a country, we, now, the, now the Minister of Police is going to be sued for something that could have been avoided, for something that could have not happened at all. I mean, if they could have passed. I mean, it, because uh, I was listening to an interview today by the Brigadier, who's responsible, the Brigadier at Lendamati, saying that whenever you see SAPS members, as people, we need to move out of the way. There are roads which are dangerous. If you are on high speed and there is no way that you can move out of the way, they will flash, irrespective of whether you put your life in danger to give them leeway to pass, they don't care. And uh, it, uh, I guess, actually, there are just a number of cases that we have not seen where this has happened. I mean, stomping somebody yeah. to that level to a point that they are unconscious. And... Uh, Maestro, I, I agree with you 100%. Yeah? But can we, ask, can we also ask a question to South Africans? Uh, okay, we don't know the facts yet, uh, and we're going to be cautious on this one. But why would people try to block a VIP convoy, especially that convoy carrying a president or deputy? Why would people try to do that? I doubt they were trying to prevent it from passing. 
I, I actually fine. I do not have the fact to know what really happened at that particular incident. In respect, because yes. where they were, they were already on the outside of the road. Now that I mean, they had, they were given the right of way. They they could have proceeded and left, but they chose to stop with that guy because that guy's car was. I mean, where the incident takes place, the car was on the far left. Uh, outside the road and they mm. pursued and they pursued them and they went to beat them up if the incident could have happened in the middle of the road where those guys stopped in the middle of mm. the road where the car was i would say in the first lane and they could have beaten him they could have beaten them there then that could have been a situation whereby the president or the deputy president's life was in danger these people posed danger and I mean, there's no way where it shows that those guys had weapons. I mean, like, okay, fine, from the mm. evidence that you're looking at, it doesn't show that yeah. they had weapons and they posed any serious threat. Fine, you need to be cautious of any threat that, I mean, that might be there uh, directed towards the person that you are protecting. But mm. once you have ascertained that their life is not in danger and there's no situation to be carried on, you proceed and move. They stopped. They wanted to prove a point. They beat them up. They left them unconscious and they left. And, yes. as, a, and as police, once you come across somebody, I mean, who is unconscious, whether it's by your own doing or not by your own doing, you are compelled by law to, uh, to, call, in, Barking, to call in backup to come and assist that person. Because you are called in to serve and protect. So in mm -hmm. I mean in all the ethos of police, serving and protecting, they failed in that. They failed in that. Yeah. And it's gonna be a field day for lawyers because they are going to sue the minister of police. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you for Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, are you done? Like uh, 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 uh these guys need to be called to book and i know nothing of serious consequence will happen to them they will be moved from one mm. department to the other because uh it's like when you are vicious and attack people that's when you are seen as a proper vip protector when are you you yeah. call in the discipline seven people against young boys and about what you could see given daddy yeah, it was actually eight. Eight against three small boys. Mm. No, thank you, Brad for the platform. No, thanks. Thanks, my friend. <laughs> and I was just hoping, uh, Maestro, guys, I'm just being a devil's advocate here, but uh, from the face of it, those SAPS VIP protection guys were wrong. Uh, like I indicated on the video that I did earlier during the day, their conduct is guided by the law. Their conduct is guided by Section 49 of the Criminal Procedure Act. Uh, firstly, I know they're going to argue that uh, that car posed a threat to the principal that they were protecting. But if that is the case, once they establish that uh, there was no threat, uh, they should have not used that kind of force, or if they thought uh, those guys were obstructing them or obstructing their way or obstructing justice, uh, then they should have arrested them. I'll, I'll, I'll explain some of these things, guys, uh, in detail on the videos, uh, how these guys are supposed to behave, their standard operating procedure, what was supposed to happen uh, there. Uh, but I'm not going to try and do it here because I'll take a lot of time for people to share their views. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's a lot of wrong things that I think were happening in that situation. Uh, Mpo, you can unmute the microphone. Uh, remember, guys, five minutes per speaker, especially in uh, topics like this where there's a lot of people who want to share their views. Uh, we enforce the time limit of five minutes as proposed uh, by members of this live. Paul, please unmute your microphone and talk to us.
to Melanie Gaufella on the space. Good evening, each and every good morning. Uh, yeah, but then now I'll come at the angle. As a driver yes. myself, I've been driving for many years. We yes. got a, there's something that we are missing here. The problem starts from driving school. The problem. Yes. yes. There. The problem starts. South African road users, because I'm, I'm based in South Africa, we don't respect yeah. the road. Because even we drive, normally I drive almost every day. People, they don't want to move. They're in the first lane. You find out they drive 60. You understand? Yeah. And yes. there's a lot of things that happen on, in, in our road. Unfortunately, most of them, yeah. they are not captured on the video. Yes. And the South Africa got this tendency, as a driver myself, yeah. we own the road. Yes. And other people intentionally, they just block VIP protection units intentionally. Yes. Because yes. again, there's this question mark, we got rights. This right, mm. sometimes we practice them in the wrong way. Mm. And the accident incident that happened, we just capture the end take of the matter. Let's assume like this. This thing happened from somewhere else. Those ladies that took the video, they took at the, the end the end to, in the middle of the scene. Those guys. Mm. They can't just go and you know, grab those boys. We got, you see, we are in a violent society in general. We are violent society. Mm. People, they are killed each and every way. If you can check it at end, people, they are moving their bodyguards. Yes. People, they are moving their bodyguards. And it's very like, you know, the guy that died now, a couple of months back, he was shot from the Rosaland. You understand? Yeah. Let us, as a people, are we honest with ourselves? And no to danger, danger, does it matter the age, the size? If now, if it was, you know, minister, the deputy minister, it was, he was shot. What are the people gonna say now? This this reminds me of Christian when he was assassinated because he asked his bodyguards to go home, and after that they they were shot. They shoot him, kill him. Mm. Let us, even myself and you, again, are we South African obey the rules of the road? This one is open to each and every one here. Mm. We are arrogant. We are self-centered as South African, including myself. When we drive, I'm from Limpop, when we drive in the highway, we, you know, we are arrogant. If I drive the car, I'll show you who I am. And if there's one accident, other incident, a rear bus in Tobek, he closed mm. Zuma convoy, the bus driver. What are we saying? This is us. Let's learn to respect our law. I yeah. thank you. I thank you, leadership. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> and I share, you, as you go away, I share your sentiments. I partially agree with you. Uh, that there's no reason for anybody to uh, try and block a presidential VIP convoy. But let's not, let's pack it like you say. Uh, people uh, have a tendency on the road of driving slow on the first lane. But again, we, 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 we must be cautious, guys. We do not have all the facts. We don't know what happened. Uh, that video does not show us where the scene started. Uh, it only shows us 52 seconds uh, of what happened. So. Hopefully, we will get uh, the facts as the investigations continue, and we will be able to uh, talk with uh, more accuracy or more certainty. Uh, hopefully, those guys would come out as well and lay a case, open a case, because apparently, if not open a case, they are fearing for their lives. Uh, 
uh, chances are that they could have been intimidated already. Uh, we, we don't know. Uh, but yeah, we, we at this point, we really don't know uh, what could have happened. But as a general principle, Mpo is right. There is a bad tendency on our roads for people to drive as if uh, they own the roads. Uh, but again, that doesn't condone the behavior of those guys. Uh, but I'm going to tell you after this live, guys, on the video, I'm going to tell you more about the profile of those guys. These are highly trained uh, members of the SAP, a special task force. They are not trained to uh, kiss people on, on the road. They, 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 their, their training is hardcore, but again, like I said, it doesn't justify what they did. Uh, but obviously, SAPS will defend them. And yeah, we will see how this thing goes. Let's come to it. Please unmute your microphone. Good evening, uh, Bradeni and everyone on the platform. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Uh, OK, Bradeni, we don't know really what has happened. And uh, Yes, the protection unit are uh, well trained. I think also the issue of being disciplined in public is one of the things that uh, they should practice. And uh, there are also some other areas whereby, as public or as, as citizens, we need to understand their duties. I don't mm. think the guys were trying to block them. Oh, they did push them with the lights, flicking the lights for them to move away. We don't know what has happened. But what we mm. saw is when they are beating up them, of which it doesn't uh, uh, reflect very good to us as South Africans. So mm. on this way, if there was something wrong that they have done, they should have called the police and arrest them so that uh, we, we know what to do. And we also... Uh, adhere to some of the things that we don't know as citizens. Mm -hmm. They might be beaten because they are far from us. I mean, Pumalanga, next time it will happen to me. So we don't know what has happened. So it's not good to show up or the way they did. We can say, yes, they are protecting the VI, the VIP, or they are protecting the, the, the deputy president. The deputy president to be there, it's our vote to, for him to be there. So they must also understand the levels. Not all of us, we know their level of driving or of protecting the deputy president or the president. But they must also give a space to us that uh, we need to understand if they are flashing the light, they are meaning move away. Sometimes the space doesn't allow you, or maybe the guys that were driving 60 or 40, the president is becoming late for the flight and so on. But the, the reaction that we see is what we are going to discuss on it. Was it right for them to beat up people like that as if it was a uh, robbery or they were showing a threat? A threat meaning they were having weapons in their hands. While I don't see anything in their hands, but I saw some of the uh, these projection guys, they're having guns in their, in, the, in their hands, of which it is, it's not good. The crime is too high in South Africa. We've never saw, saw something like this happen to the people who are really dealing with crimes or drugs or whatsoever. But if they were not patient to, to, to understand or to see why is the polo maybe disturbing them and so forth, you can see if a person is, is, is coming a threat, the risk is too high for the deputy president or the risk is become higher for them as well. There's also a, 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 a space whereby you can, you, can, you can align it on the better way than what they did. That guys, they are the parent of somebody, they are brother of somebody, uncle of, of, of somebody, as if they have done something very, very, very bad or big to the deputy president. So I think mm. they must, these things must come to us as a let them tell, let, let them also, we don't know these sections. They are working with these things. They are trained. But the, for us as citizens, we don't, know, we don't know what is happening. We don't know what to do if you see the blue from far. And on the few minutes, the car is here next to you, flashing to, for you to, to shift. Sometimes you don't know where, where you must shift to. And then now, now. Mr. Samson, can I be a devil's advocate again on this one? Uh, yes. 
Yes, I agree with you, but presidential protection unit moves in a unique way. There's no way you can see them that uh, this is a different blue light uh, gang. Certainly there are bites. There's a number of bites that will open the way, uh, get cars out of the way. And then there would be other cars coming fast and furious uh, once they've opened the way. Uh, and there would be other bikes behind, making sure that nobody gets close to them. So when it comes to VIP protection, your president, especially uh, presidents and deputy, that, that one, it moves in a particular way. There's no way of not seeing that uh, this is a different convoy. Yes, I, I agree with that one, Pratene, as you, you, are, you are mentioning them. So I think uh, before it gets to the first ones that are closer to the deputy president, they should have someone shifting the polo or approaching them than uh, the, the other unit approaching the guys with the polo. So the issue of beating up is the one that I'm focusing on that uh, it should have not been. Uh, Thank you. On my closure, yeah. Whatever that has happened, brother, I think there should have a way of handling it. Uh, not on that way beating up on the street like that because there are different uh, mm -hmm. convoy that is uh, traveling with the deputy president. Either the bikes mm -hmm. or the SAPS that are around there, they should have approached the polo for them to deal with them on a different way than the one that are closer to the deputy president to deal with them. Now they're handling it on the wrong way, of which we don't know where it has started. We are assuming yeah. beating up some of the point that they can't just come out of the car and approach them and beating up them. Something has happened somewhere, of which we yes. don't know what has happened. But the handling yeah. them like that, I, 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 I disagree on my side. So, yeah. No, I disagree you. as well. Yeah. No, thank you, Mr. Thompson. I disagree as well. Uh, I'm just being a devil's advocate, like I've been saying, but. That assault was unnecessary, it was wrong, it should have it should have not happened, and it should not happen. But thank you. <laughs> Guys, before we go to the next speaker, I see most of you are asking me to accept you. I'm going to try and accept you. The, the, the queue is very long. Uh, I think there's about uh, 30 people on the queue, so I will I will get you guys. Don't, don't stress. Uh, we having five minutes per speaker. Uh, so I'll try to get as many people as we can. And thank you for all those gifts, Puseli. So uh, thanks a lot. And thank you for the likes, guys. We're sitting on 42K. Uh, I think we can take those likes to over 100K in the next 10 to 20 minutes. So let's continue. Double tap in the screen. There's a lot of people on this live uh, to push those likes to move faster. Uh, than where they are now. So let's keep on double tapping the screen and don't forget to follow all those top gifters. Pusilitu is busy operating there. Uh, so follow him, guys. In ETM, please unmute the microphone. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Denny and the listeners. Good evening. Hey, Tara. Yeah, my brother, man, I'm not going to be that long. And uh, I'm not going to side with anyone. And I'm not going to defend anyone. But yes. in this matter, there, there are several questions that we should ask ourselves. Yes. What did the victims do in the first place? Yes. And then were they posing danger? Where no. And then the other thing, what, what did they do to pose that danger? In this mm. question, I just want to know, did they produce anything, a firearm, anything that shows that now they are posing danger? And then... Where was the person, the deputy, the deputy president, the one who were, they were escorting by that moment? Mm. Mm. Understand? Because if yeah. we, we can claim that they were, they, these uh, boys were posing danger, then what did they do to pose that danger? Yes. 
that's the most the most important question is what did they do to pose that danger yes. well it it, it it is and they are entitled to drive at high speed and we are also entitled to give them space but then mm. they are not they are not allowed in any way to stop and assault anyone because the moment you stop there yourself you are you, you, you are posing danger to the person that you are escorting the moment you are stopping there yes. that few minutes that you, uh, you are stopping you are posing danger because anything can happen to the person that you are escorting i'm not mm. sure if i'm clear on that one you are clear very clear and then the other thing we are we, we are we, we are we are viewing this uh, footage from from the other angle we don't know we, we don't see from other we are only doing the it from the other angle and everyone is speculating no you know there are a lot of speculations here it is just unfortunate that this one was captured you know my brother there's a lot of things that are happening on daily basis on the road some mm. of which police are being assaulted police are being thrown by stone and there are some of them they are being shot dead but none of those uh, activities will will be captured on a a video footage that that's the unfortunate part of south africa and as a a south african i i just need to make peace on that one that the police in south africa are not treated as are not treated like a, a an ordinary or a normal citizen they are expecting a police to be something yes. i don't know what was something more than just a person understand but then mm. from from this video my brother uh, our members are, are very wrong are totally wrong yes stopping and assaulting whether those boys were driving on a fast lane on a slow th th that's why they say if there's someone in front of you take the, the, the other route it doesn't mean that they, they, this polo can close the whole and uh, the, this whole freeway can't be if they, they are on the first lane then there's an alternative line yes then why why did they decide to stop at the end of the day they they, they, they did stop themselves and then they, they, uh, 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 again they are leaving someone there unconscious what if that person dies there yes i know i i had one of the speakers who said it was their responsibility to call an ambulance no i'm not i, I don't agree with that one mm. fine for them to assault that person to a point where the person is now being unconscious then it's a uh, it's wrong my brother and uh like i've just said it, it is just unfortunate that they didn't even go to, to open a case against them but yeah i'm very much disappointed with the conduct of our members my brother thank you yeah Oh, thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I messed up. I messed up my screen here. Thank uh, you, Pusaleto. Pusaleto is on fire today, brother. Yo. Yes, I see him. I, I wanted to get a message for him, so I got stuck somewhere. <laughs> guys, let's. No, I've been guys, thanking let's him. Let's change the moment. Wait, wait, Good. wait, Tatanyao, we can't Guys, let's take this moment to follow Puseleto. Puseleto has always been the star of this Thank life. you, Gianni. But now Puseleto does not appear. Oh, he's there. He's our number one visitor, guys. Before I go to the next speaker, uh, can we all go to the viewers? Uh, you see that number in the top right corner, uh, 1.0 mm. chain. You will see Puseleto there sitting at number one. I think even on the on Brenda's uh, gift us, he is number one. Please, mm. let's all follow Puseleto and come and comment on. Uh, for the next two minutes, we are focusing on Puseleto, the number one gifter. Please follow him and come and comment Dan. In the next five minutes, yes. guys, I need to see Puseleto with over a thousand followers or even more. So let's follow Puseleto, please. Quickly, you just follow him, come and comment down. Then after that, we will go to uh, the other top five uh, who also deserve some love. So for now, in the next two minutes, we follow Puseleto. 
come and comment down. In the next five minutes, I want to see Puseleto having over 1,000 followers. Thank you, Puseleto, once again. Official minister, the platform is yours. Good evening, everyone. Um, Amy, Brenda, and um, the, the, the human um, kind at large. Amy. What's wrong, official? Are you okay? I am okay. I just got distracted, but um, I'm okay now. Oh, so, yeah. I can yeah. hear your voice is so down. I was wondering. No, I am okay. Um, You know, this one... Official Minister, let me interrupt you before you start. Uh, somebody just said to me, Puseleto is number two. Okay, guys, now let's follow the top five. Uh, if Puseleto is the number... Yeah, let's follow the top five, starting with Gianni. At number one, Puseleto, Vuvu, and Zepte, and Zepte Locks, and Tesh. Those are the people that you're going to focus on for the next five minutes. You follow all those top five and come and comment. And I'm going to check their following if there's any movement. So, official minister, you can proceed. Okay, thank you. You know, I think... Um, Sometimes when they look at the they are not good. Yes. These guys are police. Yes. And, sorry, I will tell you why. There was no Paul Mashatila in that car. Yes. Any of those cars. Paul was not there. They were driving alone. They were not protecting any official at that point in time. So the uh, president was not on board. Yeah. So um, I'm going to pick unfavorable position, Benny, which you had. Why block the car? Why don't they, they block the car? Yeah. And you know, one of the reasons we are sent to training is to deal with such situations. That they send in Sorry, training. official. Yeah. Official, they say they can't hear you. Sorry, my brother. Oh, I. I don't know. Uh, maybe I need to come back. How is it now? I think you're still the same. Okay, I will need to come back because uh, it might be. Uh, the phone or the device that I'm using. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's... But then he'll have to come back. When he comes back, then he'll be offered to speak first. Yeah, no problem. Okay, no, I'll just uh, come back. Thanks. Thanks, officer.